Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the next part of our skill leveling guide. And today we are going to be covering the archery skill. As most of you know, it is one of my favorites and something I've trained quite a bit because it is a silent killer. Um, it is very, very effective at the beginning of the game because you can't really kill puppets any way easier than using a bow. So it's really, really powerful in the beginning of the game. And then once you get um, like a compound bow and broadhead arrows, either in a cargo drop or by looting, then you're going to kill most of the puppets with one shot and you'll be able to kill most players um, with one shot when you've got broadhead arrows. Um, so yes, end game, by the time you've got eight strength um, and you're past advanced archery, you know, then definitely you, you will be able to kill any player by just shooting him in the legs. And as most of you know, this is definitely my favorite skill. But let's get to the leveling of the skill, okay? So what we've got here is a 20-pound bow, the one that you craft right at the beginning of the game. And then we've got wooden arrows. We've got metal-tipped arrows, which you can craft. And then we've got the big boys, the broadhead carbon arrows um, that you have to find in-game. You can't craft them, okay? And then we're going to switch to the compound bow, which we just have to set with the toolbox, okay? So I'm just going to... Um, spawn in a toolbox here quickly so that we are just ready to set this bow okay so we're going to spawn in a normal puppet okay first off we've got no archery skill so the big thing that we have to look at is how many points am i going to give the skill to max it out you know to take advanced archery at in the character creation screen and how many points am i going to give the skill in game okay to, to basically level it up in-game. So let's look at it. We're going to spawn in a normal muscular puppet. Okay. And we're going to shoot him once. In there. That's going to be 104 XP. And that's going to be 200 XP. So 2%. Okay. So basically I have to shoot 100 puppets roughly. Roughly 100 puppets and I'm at basic archery. Then I have to basically... Uh, depending on the arrows that I use, guys, depending on the arrows that I use, okay? So, let me just check here quickly. How do we prioritize the arrows here? So, you can press V to de-equip the arrow, and then which arrow is you going to put in? It's going to put in the metal, metal tipped arrow. So, the one, the first one did 100, gave us 104 XP, and the other one gave us 129 XP, okay? Now, that was clearly because of the arrow that we used so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put these arrows away okay and then i'm just going to show you guys the carbon arrow okay so same puppet one shot okay roughly the same the same amount of xp but we can definitely see a difference in damage okay we can see a huge different difference in damage so even if we spawn in like a, a military puppet, okay, let's just look at the the damage that the, the arrow does with the weakest bow in the game, okay? Military... Okay, military muscle, military female, military armor, okay? Gonna shoot him in the leg. Okay. Two shots, guys. Two shots just because of the arrow that we are using. Okay. And now, if we have to take away the carbon. Okay. And now... We shoot that same puppet with a wooden arrow. Then, two, three, four. Okay, so clearly you guys can see the arrows has a major effect 
on the damage that you do, okay? But the bow, the bow also makes a difference, but not such a major difference, okay? Until you up its poundage very, very high. So I've got no, I've got no archery skill, okay? So I'm just going to set it with a toolbox. If I had an archery skill, I wouldn't have needed to set it. I'm just going to adjust it to, it's going to lower it because I've got no archery skill. If you've got advanced archery, it's going to higher it to 80 pounds. But now it's going to lower it to 50 pounds, okay? So let's see how much effect the bow has, okay? So one, two, three, four. Okay, so we're using the same arrows, guys. So clearly you can see, yes, the bow has an effect, but the arrows is what makes the difference, okay? Literally, the arrows is what makes the difference. So if we, if we just look at our skill points, okay, it's 2029. That won't be too difficult to figure out, okay? 2029, one, two. 2029, so that was about 326. That was about 326. And now, just to... Let's put in the, the metal arrows. Okay, so that was about 2026. You can craft these arrows in-game. So I'm just going to de-equip the wooden arrow quickly. Okay. And then you can see now we've got the arrow with the metal tip. Okay. So... Same puppet. One, two. So you guys can see the, the damage is ramping up. The other one was 325. So if this one is 325 that we're going to do now, we're only going to end at 3,000 XP. But I think we're going to do a little bit more. I definitely think we're going to do a little bit more. Press V. Get the arrow out. Okay. So I think we're going to end at just above. Um, just above 3000 XP. Okay. <laughs> we have to shoot. We have to shoot twice, guys. We have to shoot twice to get the XP. Okay. Okay, so roughly the same, okay? But as you guys can see, you're leveling this up very, very, very quickly, okay? And as, as you increase your archery skill and as you, um, you know, can adjust the, the poundage, you can use higher poundage bows. The arrows are going to travel much further, okay? So at the end of the day, the bow skill is a really, really good skill, and it's not bad at leveling up at all if i have to compare the leveling up um, if i have to put importance of starting with the skill i'll give it a seven out of ten and if i have to say how easy it is to level it up in game i'll have to give it like a seven out of ten as well it's a really really above average good all-rounder and it's really viable so a 10 out of 10 at the beginning of the game because there's no other way to kill pu pu puppets faster and then end game i'll give it a 10 out of 10 as well because when i get to a character with eight strength and for instance sake advanced plus archery no puppet or human will ever survive if i hit it where it where it isn't wearing armor so end game, 10 out of 10. Beginning of the game, 10 out of 10. So let's go see what the differences are when you've got advanced archery. Okay, guys. So PvE related, this is a very viable build. This is a new character. Okay. So with you can take five strength, one constitution, three dexterity, and three intelligence because you're going to level up constitution naturally. And then you can take a character that starts with advanced archery, medium rifles, and basic melee weapons. Not a bad build at all, okay? Then you can start with basic and basic, or you can put, I prefer to put all the points into running. Helps me a little bit more to get across the map. You can take stealth, because this is naturally a stealthy, like, assassin kind of um, PvP 
PvP build. And then you can take medical, okay? So that you can heal yourself very, very quickly. But in any case, with... Um, with just the advanced archery and nothing more, okay? You can see how fast we pull back the bow, okay? We can pull back the bow extremely fast. And this is a 35-pound bow, guys, which you can craft in-game with um, wire very, very easily, okay? So clearly you can see the speed and everything has a major effect because it, of course, tells you that the archery skill influences the ability to use the bows of different poundages, okay? Again, you don't have to get more strength. You just have to get, you know, shoot more puppets. As you shoot more puppets, you level up archery, and then you'll be able to use different poundage bows. Strength does help, but in my experience, your archery skill has a bigger effect on the bow that you can use than strength. Faster reload time, okay? Um, faster draw time, as you can see, it hold time at full draw, faster bow tuning. Okay, so we are going to tune the bow very fast, but as you can see, a 35-pound bow, I can I can hold for a very, very long time. Okay? Very, very long time. Now, this is, this is where the build comes into play. Okay, so we're going to... Let's first use the metal arrows because you can make the metal arrows in game quite easily. And now you can see again, it's a 60 pound bow and we're going to adjust the draw weight with the toolbox because we've got five strength and advanced archery. Now this compound bow turns into a 110 pound monster. Okay. So once this is a metal arrow, guys, it's not a broad head arrow. Okay. As you guys can see, our speed is very, very, very fast. Okay. And our stability is really, really good as well. Okay. Stability is really, really good. So you can kill multiple puppets like this, you know, quite easily. <laughs> Remember what I told you guys about the bushes? I'm not in the bush. I'm just behind the bush and the puppet doesn't see me. Okay. And then of course we can use the broadhead arrows. This is, this is where your build becomes insane, okay? And yes, we're looking, we're looking very cool, guys. We've even got the, we've even got the balaclava on, okay? For the stealthy build. Okay, so here we go with the broadhead arrows. Same amount of puppets. <laughs> Okay, this is where the build comes into action. And of course, you can shoot quite far, okay? So that's a tree there, stabilizing it. We're aiming at about that height, okay? Quite far. with 110 pounds on the boat not bad at all not bad at all okay and then of course because you're at advanced archery you gain a lot more skill points in your archery skill we are already at 15,000 guys so over a long period of time if you start with a character like this after the 0 0.7 update and you grind the bow you will get to ad advanced plus archery within about a month, okay? Depending on how long you play, how long your sessions are. But for a casual player, I'd say about um, 
two months, you know, for a player that puts in like four hour or three hour sessions, probably a month. And then for a grinder that plays like eight, eight hours a day or as long as possible, he can probably get to advanced plus archery within two weeks. Okay. And then you can get your strength up. Okay. Which make which makes a which makes a big difference as well. And as I say, guys, um, it does a heck of a lot of damage. Okay? A heck of a lot of damage. If you shoot if you shoot a player in the leg, you 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 he's basically dead. He's not dead, but if he doesn't heal himself, he'll he'll be dead. Or if you shoot him anywhere on his body again, he'll be dead, which I am gonna show you guys. Um, with dolls, okay? Dolls is going to help me. Uh, but basically, you just shoot him in the leg, okay? And then he's basically dead. Okay, this guy's a little bit tougher. Now, I think this guy's got a little bit more health, guys. But two shots basically kills him. Okay, as you guys know. But let's go to Dills and see what the XP looks like and how dangerous is it in a PvP situation. Okay? See you guys now. Okay, guys. Let's see how much XP you get um, by shooting a player. Okay? So I've got, I've got the beginning bow, the 20-pound bow with wooden arrows. Okay, and I've got no archery skill. I'm going to hit him once in the chest. 124 XP, guys. That's a lot more than melee weapons. Okay, a lot more. So that's 124. Okay. That's more than 124. That's a heck of a lot more than 124, guys. So, clearly you can see with the bow, the amount of damage that you're doing has a major effect, okay? It do definitely has a major effect um, with the damage that you're doing. So, what I'm quickly going to do is, um, and now, now you guys can see that those are three shots. We had 6% archery. You guys know I love archery. Archery is a very, very valid um skill at the beginning of the game and even at the end of the game guys because you can get a bow kit in a cargo drop or you can get compound bows in the big city or in towers so it's always viable if you're struggling to find guns or if you don't like going into a bunker but even going into a bunker with a bow is much better because you don't make a noise okay it's much more stealthy to go into a bunker with a bow and then if you run into a player then you switch to your weapon you know but you don't really want to make a noise in a bunker and a suppressor still attracts a lot of puppets guys a, a suppressor still attracts puppets in your area a bow doesn't okay a bow is completely silent so what i'm going to do now just quickly is get the get the better bow and get the best carbon arrows okay i'm just gonna um spawn in um the best bow okay Apparently, I won't be able to shoot it, which I wasn't thinking about. But it's fine. It's fine. We're going to make a plan. We're going to make a plan. Okay, so even with three strength, I've got advanced archery. No, no, I've got no archery skill, yes? I've got no archery skill, okay? So with no archery skill, you cannot pull back a 60-pound bow, okay? so But what you can do is you can spawn in a toolbox or you can find a toolbox, okay? And then you can just set the bow's poundage, adjust the weight. So the weight is now going to adjust to your archery skill and your strength, okay? Both. It takes in, it takes your strength and your archery skill into consideration. So now it's a 50-pound bow, okay? So we got 600. We got um, 642 XP with those three shots last time. I don't think he's going to survive the same amount of shots because he's going to do more damage, but let's see. First one in his chest. That's roughly the same. Leg. And yeah, he's dead. 
Okay, so I yeah, I, I, looking at the XP there, guys, we would have gotten more XP um, if we hit him in the head, okay? Because the headshot would have done, done a lot more damage. But clearly you can see that the bow that you use has the biggest difference, okay? Has, has a different, no, has it got the biggest difference? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. W with the test that I've done, guys, I feel the bow has got about a 40% increase in damage, and then the arrows are responsible for about a 60% increase in damage. So if I shoot him, stand still, Dills. If I shoot him in the head, okay, of course he's going to die with one shot. <clears throat> so there, 1,465. The last time we did those three shots, we just got 624 XP. So clearly, we're getting more XP. Okay, so now let me change to a character with advanced archery, and I'm still going to keep it to three strength, guys. Of course, I'm going to do more, you know, I'm going to pull back the bow faster, but the strength only affects my melee damage. It doesn't affect the, you know, the bow's damage. As long as I pull back the bow, it's fine. So the archery skill, the archery skill, okay, um, affects the reload time, the draw time, the hold time, you know, and the faster bow tuning. So now, now we're going to just take a character with three strength and advanced archery and see what happens when we set the bow. Okay. We're back, guys. Okay. Now, you guys can test this for yourself, but I know with a character with five strength and advanced archery, when you set your bow's poundage right at the start of your game, if you create a character with five strength, one constitution, three dexterity, and three intelligence with advanced archery, if you find a compound bow and you use a toolbox, you're going to go to 110 pounds. Your compound bow will be stronger than any bow that you can find in the game. Okay? But I want to show you that the archery skill still has a major effect. Okay? So it's only three strength with the archery. Now we're going to set it, okay? Remember, it's a, it was 50 pounds because I had to set it back. Okay, I just left my weapon here, if you guys are confused. I left my weapon here and then created a new character. Now we're going to adjust the draw weight. And account, according to me, it should be at 80 pounds. 80 pounds, okay? Three strength, advanced archery. As soon as you find a compound bow, you can set it to 80 pounds. When you get to five strength, you can set it to 110 pounds. I haven't tested the eight strength, but guys, trust me, at the end of the 0 0.7 update, I'm, I'm going to show you things that you've never seen before because I'm going to grind this game to death. Okay, so now <clears throat> I've got no skill in my archery, okay? So now with the 80-pound bow, I can pull it back. I have 737. 2,291. Okay? We can get to Advanced Plus someday, guys. We can get to Advanced Plus at some point. And even with, with five strength, you know, we can, um, we can, right at the start of the game, we can have the best bow. Or we can, we can use a compound bow <clears throat> with 110 pounds, which is going to be extremely lethal. Luthias, what do you mean it's going to be extremely lethal? Uh, what was it? T, eh? No? How do I remove the arrow again? V, okay. V, sorry, guys. Uh, knock. Okay, so, this, so, we got, like, in, I don't know, we got, like, in 600, or, I can't remember how much we got now with the first shot, but, look at what the arrow does. About a thousand XP, guys, for a chest shot. Okay, so if you get a kit, if you get a bow kit and you've got a compound bow, then you get broadhead carbon arrows, which can one shot <clears throat> almost everything, <clears throat> excuse me, in the game. Okay, so let me just throw these bloody arrows away. Let me just take this arrow off. Okay. So we can quickly do this test, guys, you know, so that the video isn't too long. Let's spawn, um, let's spawn in a puppet, and I think it was the muscular one. What was it, muscular? 
civilian muscular male, whatever the case may be. Okay, so the thin puppet will die with one shot. And then we take the then we take the bad boy. Okay, take the bad boy again. Okay. So, Matthias, yeah? how good is the, the bow skill? And Dulce just back off a bit. Okay, with the, with the kit, guys, you're going to get a lot more arrows than this. Okay, with the kit, you're going to get a lot more arrows than this. So, let's just do this quickly. So, if you ever find a cargo drop with a bow kit in it, you're going to get um, 36 carbon, car, uh, broadhead carbon arrows. Okay. And what kind of what kind of things can you do with um, with something like that? Now, these are the worst zombies, guys. You're not going to get these zombies all the time, okay? But I'm just trying to tell you that if you're in a bunker, okay, you can just juke them. And make sure you shoot them in the legs, otherwise their armor has an effect. And then, of course, you can do this. You can hit them, you, your timing just needs to be better. And then if you run into a player, okay, Dulce has got full armor on him. Stand still. Try and run. How much damage? 5% left. 5% left, guys. In the leg, I don't care how much armor he has on him. It's 96. Uh... Yeah, 96. Okay, so we're going to let Dulce die quickly. And then I'm going to spawn him in the best armor in the game, okay? Then you see what happens to a player when you meet a player in game. I want to, I want to hit home for you how important the archery skill is in late game, okay? So we're going to give Dills the best armor. And we're going to give Dills like this guy, this guy was just like in, this guy's like the best PvPer in the world, guys. He got all the best loot with his eyes closed, okay? So he even got this helmet. He even got that helmet, guys. And all I've got is a bloody bow. So first off, I hit him in the leg. I hit him in the chest. Dude, that leg shot took me to 1%. Uh-huh. How long did that take me, guys? So what I want to tell you is if you see a fully geared play in the open and you've got... Max, you've got advanced stealth, and you've got advanced camo, and he doesn't detect you first. You shoot him in the, in the leg, he can't move, he lifts his gun, he's trying to see where you are. You've already, while he's looking for you, you've already pulled back the bow because he's, he's at a distance, you shoot him in the leg. Now he's looking where you are. Oh, you don't know where I am? There you're dead. Okay? That is the bow skill. That is the archery skill, guys. Yes, of course rifles are better, but... You can get your arrows back. You don't run out of ammo. You have to be killed to lose your bow. Okay? And you can get compound bows quite easily if you loot the big city regularly. So, my score for the archery skill to choose advanced archery and five strength right at the start of the game, 10 out of 10. To pick three strength and advanced archery at the beginning of the game, 10 out of 10. To level it up in game, I'd give it... If I look at the speed, if I look at the speed of it, guys, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Like, I've leveled up archery a lot in-game, and it takes me about three days. If I use the bow constantly, it takes me about three days to, and I mean constantly, 
okay? So if you're only playing for like three hours a day, it's probably going to take you a week, okay, to get to advanced archery. So it's, it's still viable, still viable to level it up. That's why I don't mind taking advanced melee because I love adm advanced melee weapons, okay, at the beginning of the game. And I know I can get to advanced archery within a week, okay? But if you want to kick ass on wipe day, Okay, we we're looking forward to the 0 0.7 update. If you want to kick ass on wipe day, take a carry to the five strength, advanced archery, go for the cargo drops right at the start, and hopefully you get a bow, a bow kit. And then you kill everything. If the because everyone's now looking for armor or building their base or whatever the case would be. Any guy you run into, you kill, guys. At the in the first week, you will be a lethal weapon because even if you get a guy that log up the bunker and he just collected shit, you know. If you find him in the open, one leg shot, one chest shot, you're dead. I don't give a shit what you found in game. You're dead. Okay? Sorry that I'm this passionate, guys, but I love it when I can show you guys why I make the choices that I make. Not everyone's crazy about my bold guides, but I want to show you this. Okay? So hopefully that explains it to you. Archery skill is definitely viable. You level it up by shooting a puppet, a player. And the one last thing that I wanted to test is, unfortunately, I didn't take the advanced. Um, yeah, damn it. I didn't take the advanced um, engineering skill. Dills, dills. Okay, guys, I'll be back now. I'll be back now.